Happy Monday everyone and welcome to another video by me, Beardy David. So this week I want to be talking to you about some of the up and coming films of 2017. This is going to be done in two parts, so this part is going to be talking about uh, just one film each from uh, between February and July and then at the end of July I'll do another one that talks about all the uh, film each from August until December. So let's get started with February. So the first film which is coming out on the 10th of February is Lego Batman. Now if you saw the original Lego movie that came out a couple of years ago it was brilliant. It was it was such a surprise hit. No one really thought it was going to do that well. I mean it made a, a bucket load of cash at the box office around the world and it was just so fun. It was just such a good clever film. The animation was beautiful. Uh, the story was was clever and uh and, and Lego has just got, can just put anything in there because like you see so you can get people from Disney, people from DC, people from Marvel, everyone wants to be involved with the Lego movie just because it's such, just such a big franchise for, for the Batman movie. So Will Arnett is coming back as, as Batman. Um, you've got some other, so like Mariah Carey's gonna be in it and Ralph Fiennes is going to be Alfred. It's just gonna be really good fun and it's uh, so the story and Zach, Zach Galifianakis is going to be the Joker and you're just going to see uh, I think it's going to be a bit Justice League movie which I think is actually going to be better than the real life version so look, looking forward to this one much better than that one and then so in March uh, on the 17th uh, we've got the big one from Disney this year which is going to be the live action remake of Beauty and the Beast now Disney is going through quite a phase at the minute of all of, of kind of um, reimagining some of their Walt Disney classics. Like they've done it with the Jungle Book, they've done it with Alice in Wonderland. Uh, they're also apparently going to be doing it with Dumbo. But this one I feel is going to be hopefully awesome. Um, Dan Stevens is going to be the Beast. If you if you only really know Dan Stevens from um, from Downton Abbey as Matthew Crawley, I urge you to watch uh, a film called The Guest that he's in. You will see him in a much different light and he is an absolute badass and he's so good. Um, Emma Watson is playing Belle. I've kind of heard clips of her singing, sounds okay. And um, Lumiere is, is voiced by Ewan McGregor and you've got um, Kevin Klein as, uh, as Belle's father. So you've got some big names in there. We all know what the story of Beauty and the Beast is, uh, but I, I imagine it's gonna be huge and probably one of the year's biggest hits. So now we move on to April, and April is the first of all the superhero movies that we're getting this year, or probably probably the biggest one, and that's gonna be, which is released on the 28th of April, and that's gonna be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, this was also another surprise hit, uh, from a couple of years ago and it's kind of made Chris Pratt uh, into the star that he's he made him a big box office draw from when uh, he used to be a chubby little guy in uh, Parks and Rec. Uh, the first one was amazing it had such a really good cast and this is and everyone's back for this one. The, as far as I'm aware this story finds we so we follow um, Star Lord Chris Pratt as he's on the hunt for his father and I think we'll also find out more about the Infinity Stone and how that's going to be related into the um, the rest of the Marvel Universe with the Avengers and the Infinity War that's going to come out next year. Uh, I know that we've got a couple of new additions that um, Kurt Russell is in it which I think he's believed that he's going to be um, Star-Lord's dad and then there's also a role for Sylvester Stallone which um, is an unnamed role at the minute, but I'm assuming he's going to have, because of his uh, nice two voice, he's going to be something to do with Groot. So looking forward to that one. And then in May, we've, we've got the return of Pirates of the Caribbean in uh, Salazar's Revenge. I think I'm saying that right. I uh, haven't really heard much about the whole Pirates of the Caribbean for a long time. It'll be interesting to see uh, how this goes down, because the last one didn't do very well, uh, was poorly rated. It seems that they've all kind of gotten worse as they go along. Uh, I'm not sure if I said so that. So this is coming out on the 28th of May. Johnny Depp's back as Captain Jack Sparrow. Um, Javier Bardem is this uh, Salazar. Um, Orlando Bloom's coming back as Will Turner. So the last time we saw Will Turner, he was uh, he went off as the captain of the, um, of the Black Pearl. But uh, they wasn't interested in getting back here nightly, so I'm not quite sure what she's done there. So then in June, coming out on the 2nd, 
is a reboot of the franchise The Mummy. Now, The Mummy was a very successful um, uh, set of films back from, like I think, like the late 90s to, to the early noughties, uh, starring Brendan Fraser in the lead role. But this time they're going for Tom Cruise, and I think they're going for a much darker tone this time. Uh, get, get, looking interesting, I'm excited for it. I fear that it might be a little bit too scary for me and a bit jumpy, but I know that they're looking to turn this into also like a little like Monsters Universe because Russell Crowe's in it and he's actually playing um, uh, Dr. Jekyll and obviously his um, alter ego. So that's going to be quite cool to see what happens with that one. Uh, I'm assuming this first one will just be about like, how the mummy comes to exist. I've seen the trailer for that, that looks pretty cool. And looking forward to that. And so the last one I want to talk about, which is coming out on the 7th of July, which is Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, if any of you saw last year's um, Captain America Civil War, when uh, uh, Captain America goes up against Tony Stark, then the best thing about this movie, well, in my opinion, was Tom Holland as the new Spider-Man. And uh, didn't really particularly enjoy Civil War that much. Although I only ever watched it once, so maybe I need to give it another go because Lauren absolutely hated it. It's nearly put her off of her superhero movies for good. But and she agreed that the best thing about it was uh, Spider Man. And he just looks so fun, and uh, and I think he's he's going to be a much more different Spider Man than the Tobey Maguire and the Andrew Garfield what we've had in the past. Just looks and obviously it's a lot younger one. And this one we follow him in school. And what's better about it is that it's not an origin story. We're not going to find out how he becomes... Well, I hope not. Unless we get like a little five-minute cutscene, and that's fine. But it's just going to get straight into it. Uh, this is going to involve a lot of uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s uh, Tony Stark. Because I think he kind of gives him... He helps him make a suit. And it's just going to be like classic... Like all, what we expect to get from Marvel. Lots of lots of like silly gags and a bit funny, a bit more light-hearted. And then the villain in it is uh, the Vulture, who's been played by the awesome Michael Keaton, which is wicked. Because I now kind of think that we're, it's in a time where you've kind of got the DC actors and the Marvel. And I, I'm, I'm definitely more pro-Marvel than DC. So I'm always kind of happy when we get people like like the Michael Keaton and Benedict Cumberbatch, who, who, who just... Because I'm sure they must get offers from both. So really looking forward to Spider-Man and then how that is also in relation... Uh, to the uh, Infinity War, and then I know because you got later on you got Hulk's coming out on this year, which we'll probably get. Oh no, Thor, sorry, because uh, he goes to Planet Hulk. So, so that's it. So that's all the films that I'm uh, looking forward to seeing so far up until the month of July this year. Um, if there's any movies that you that you are looking forward to seeing, please let me let me know down in the comments below. Or, or if any of these movies that you cannot bear and you have no interest in whatsoever, then also please let me know because I love to have a little discussion about movies and uh, and if you've got any Oscar predictions or anything please let me know. I'm going to link all of these trailers in the bottom as well in the comments section just so you can go and have a look if you haven't seen any of them yet and yeah so that's it so I hope you enjoy the rest of your Mondays and I've got to put this in for Lauren because we're making Mondays fun days. Bye.